Hi, grade nines. I'm here to do another video today about polygons where there are more than four sides. Um, it's bright and early. I think it's 7.45 in the morning and I haven't done my makeup or haven't brushed my hair. So no pictures of me today. Um, I'm just going to teach you without you having the opportunity to see my messy face and messy hair. We're gonna look at this last question that's from the geometry booklet. It has a shape on the right hand corner and the shape looks like a house. What we wanna do is we wanna figure out what do all the different angles in that shape equal to. So we need to use what we learned yesterday to help us with that. We are, we are going to take that shape and we are going to split it into triangles because it's a shape that has more than four sides. So here's my shape. You can see that I've used a red marker and I've split it into three triangles. I went from vertex E to vertex B and then we're at vertex E down to the bottom corner and we see that we have three triangles and each of those triangles are 180 degrees. So if I want to know how many angles, the total sum of all the angles inside the shape, all I need to do is do 180 times three. So what we have is we have a five-sided shape where all the angles add up to 540 degrees. We know that the two um, corner ones here and here are the same because of symmetry. Um, they're the same size. Um, so we're going to call them both X. We also know this angle, this angle, and this angle are all 90 degrees. That's what that symbol means. So this question is not that hard when you know that they all add up to 540 and this is 90 degrees and this over here is 90 degrees and this over here is 90 degrees. We're just gonna do a bit of algebra. We're gonna do 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus X plus X is equal to 540 degrees. Um, 90 plus 90 plus 90, that gives me 270 degrees plus X plus X is equal to 540 degrees. But these two X's, I've got two of them. So instead of writing X plus X, I'm just going to write down that I have 270 degrees and I also have two X's and they add up to 540 degrees. Now, this is actually a combination of geometry and algebra. We have to practice our algebra skills. So remember, we're gonna leave the part with the X until the end. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna move the 270 degrees to join the 540 degrees because they're similar sorts of um, math things. So we are going to balance the equation by putting a minus 270 there, a minus 270 here, these cancel out. So I now know that 2x is equal to 540 minus 270 degrees. I finished my question and I get that two x's, the two x's I have add up to 270 degrees. Um, but I don't want to know what the two X's are. I want to know what one X is. So what I've done is I've divided both sides by two and I find out that X is equal to 135 degrees. And now it'd be a good idea for us to check to make sure that X equals to 135 is a reasonable answer. So what we would do is we would go back to our original image and we would add 90, plus 90, plus 135, plus 90, plus 135, and make sure that that's equal to 540 degrees as it should. Let's look at this next polygon that also has five sides. This polygon is different from the last one though. There's something special about this polygon. It's special because all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal inside this polygon. So when we split it into triangles, um, we'll get that there are three triangles 
inside this polygon again, which means 180 plus 180 plus 180 is equal to 540, just like before. But this time, all the angles, the five angles in the corners of this five-sided polygon should all be the same. So there's an easy way to find what each of those angles are equal to. Let's do that now. So notice that I've put an X in each of the corners because all of those angles are the same. Also, I want to remind you that the reason there are three triangles in this shape is because when you have a five-sided shape, there has to be three triangles because five subtract two gives you three. And that's the pattern we learned yesterday. Let's look at the math that I have done on my table. I have done x plus x plus x plus x is equal to 540. Um, I added up five x's together because there's five angles and all those angles are the same. And so five x is equal to 540 degrees. But I don't want to know what five x's are equal to. I want to know what just one x is equal to. So I want to move that five from the left-hand side. So to move that five, I'm going to divide by five on the left side, which means I need to divide by five on the right side, and I get that x is equal to 108. And that makes a lot of sense, because if I add up 108 plus 108 plus 108 plus 108 plus 108, I get 540, just like I ought to. So we're gonna look at another polygon. This time we're gonna look at a 12-sided regular polygon. Be aware that the word regular means that all the sides and all the angles are the same. If there are 12 sides on this regular polygon, then that means that there'll be 10 triangles because 12 subtract two gives you 10 triangles. That's the pattern we learned yesterday and that's the pattern that we'll continue to use. Um, if there are 10 triangles and each of the triangles adds up to 180 degrees, that means in total there are 1,800 degrees inside this 12-sided polygon. And if the polygon has 12 sides, that means it also has 12 angles. And since it's a regular polygon, all those angles are exactly the same. So I'm going to do the algebra, x plus 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 x is equal to 1,800. But that means I've got 12 x's, they're all the same, equal to 1,800. So if I want to find the value of just one of those x's, what I need to do is I need to divide by 12 on both sides, and I will get that x is equal to 150. And the work I'm going to leave you with today is to try question eight on the last page of the geometry workbook. Um, it's about a polygon that has 125 sides this time. So if it has 125 sides, it also has 125 angles. So that means you'll have 125 X's inside your polygon. But what you need to do is you need to use the pattern to figure out how many triangles would be inside that polygon. How about you try that question, send me your answer, and I will check it and let you know if it's right or it's wrong. Okay, um, you work really hard this week. Tomorrow we have one last video together and then we're done our unit on geometry.